I own a crashed 2017 F55 Mini. So in this video, we bought a new LZI2 JCW bumper, which we're going to retrofit onto this car. If you want to see how this is done, leave a like, subscribe, and enjoy the video. My name is Ethan, and welcome to Car Creations. All right, so finally got the pieces back from the paint shop and they look spectacular. The fleck on this, they're amazing. They haven't been buffed or anything. Uh, we will do that when we get the car detailed, but they're looking amazing. They were just painted this morning. Because they're in and we've been waiting such a long time, I think we're gonna put this bumper together. Now, in case you haven't noticed, this is the new LCI2 JCW bumper. And this comes in the 2022 and 2023, and maybe 2024 JCW cars. And, it's huge, it's aggressive, it looks amazing, and I would recommend it to get installed on your car if you're looking to upgrade your bumper. If you are looking to upgrade your bumper, reach out to Outmotoring, and they have a huge selection of mini products, and they were kind enough to help me get all this stuff together and help me with this project. So we'll leave a link to them down here in the description. If you want anything mini or any of the bumpers, they only come primed, they do not come painted. So make sure that you are okay to have them painted. But uh, without any further ado, let's get this project started. Where'd you even start with this? What I'm gonna start is by bringing over the main section of the bumper. The way that these JCW bumpers work is they have a main frame. It makes it pretty cost effective for many because all they have to do is make one giant piece and they have all the other little trim pieces that pull onto it. So what we're gonna do right now is put all the trim pieces on the, on the bumper and then we will show you how you fit it to your car. All right, so this should be pretty easy to put together, but a lot of fun. Let's start with putting this piece on. So literally all you have to do is snap her in. A lot easier than trying to take something like this off. So I'm hopefully, don't make any errors. And so what I'm also trying to do here is go check on the back to make sure that the uh, Snaps are coming through properly. All snapped into place and it looks amazing. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna put on, when we put on these big black vents, that snapped on very nicely. This is so satisfying. Wow. Let's put on the big painted part. So this big painted piece is gonna kind of go on an angle over here. Hey, James, do you wanna go from the back and just <coughs> pull the other end? Ah. Nice. Cool, while we're over here, we're gonna get the other little plastic piece wherever I put it. Ah yes, just have to snap it a lot harder. I'm gonna put this one on. Now I'm gonna try to remember that I need to push in harder than I would have thought. I'm trying to look through to the other side and I'm actually pulling the tab through. So right down here, let's grab the tab, pull it through. Perfect. Last painted portion that goes on down here. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna carefully put on top. And uh, once again, I'm gonna do the same method where I'm gonna put my hands through it and pull the tabs through. Aha! That snap though, right? I think that's all in. Arguably, my favorite part of this entire bumper is this red strip. <laughs> Look at that. It looks so good. I'm feeling giddy. It's like buying a new car. Dude. Crazy. The last bit of this is the gonna be icing this. on the cake. Yes. Camel black piece that goes all the way around. Once again, we're gonna start from the side. Oh, dude, and it snaps gloriously. Across. Let's take a moment to appreciate this. When did I buy this car? I have no idea. This is a long probably in like December, January. And uh, I had this image in my head of putting this bumper on when I was bidding on the car. And uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I need to put emotional in the title of the video now. And finally, I'm doing it. And this summer was quite hard for me. And now we're back at it with this beautiful bumper, all put back together and painted, and I'm ready to put on my car, so let's do it. All right, so one of the first things that we're gonna do is uh, put on the liner at the bottom with like two trillion of these eight mil screws. But thankfully we have a tool for that and that's the air in our shop. I keep flexing that, but I'm very happy with it's that. so nice. <laughs> the 
James installed the underliner, I set about trying to work on the ducts. And this was quite difficult as so my car does not have the second JCW radiator. For people watching my video while trying to install this, I would suggest getting a piece for the grill that basically blanks out this spot, as you don't really need it unless you have a radiator there. So, what I'm trying to do here, if I'm wrong, tell me in the comments. Basically, if we, if it was a JCW with a radiator, it would go right here, but uh, for, I guess we'll just put it on like this. All right, now for the moment you've all been waiting for. We're actually gonna put the bumper on the Mini. And to say I'm excited would be an understatement. So, uh, just grab it over here. She's heavy. Beautiful. This bit was actually quite easy. Just slowly push it on and tack on the screws at the end to hold in place. Oh, it's looking so good. All right, so we're getting quite close. We're just trying to uh, tack it in. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is uh, we're gonna put in the bolts that are along the top up here. You would have thought that that needs to be on the outside, but it actually doesn't. Yeah, you can see a little bolt through there. Nice, look at that. All the way along, all done up, done up, done up, done up. All the way along. Let's look at awesome. Look at that, dude. The next thing that we need to put on is the edges. So side flares, side trim, whatever you want to call it. It is pretty simple, but what happens is these down here, you have to pull this out and then it goes in there. Can we pull this out? Even? Oh, look at that. There you go. And before you go any farther, yeah. we're going to leave, leave this open because we're going to have to test the indicators. And the cool thing is that we got the nice uh, JCW Flender, Flender Flare thing. Flender Flare. Flender Flare Flare. All right, that's probably far enough. All right, snapping in the indicators. James got both of them, so now I'm going to turn on the car and we're going to test it. Look at that. Okay, so they're on. All right, want to snap these on? There it is, hey. I'm also going to get this first try. Yeah, because I did the hard stuff. Oh, don't break it, mate. Oh. And now the last thing that I kind of missed, so we had to film this different day, was uh, screw these eight mil screws all along the front down there. And uh, yeah, we're all set. This is gonna look amazing. that's our video for today we hope you enjoyed this looks absolutely amazing so leave a huge like on the video and subscribe if you really liked it and if you have any questions or comments we'd love to see them in the comments below uh, make sure you check out out motoring because they have an amazing website and tons of stuff that we're gonna be adding to this car as well as tons of mods for any R series, F series, anything. We just got a bunch of packages with retrofits and mods and everything for this car. So make sure you subscribe for plenty more content like this. But most of all, we hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. <gasps> it worked! <laughs> yeah! We'll retake that, ready? Sick. You don't need to get all right, let's check these lights. <gasps> They're working! <laughs> <laughs>